We were never meant to bend voluntarily, only forcibly in the ships of someone else's will. In your mind, we're still nothing more than America's third pick in the slavery draft with ideals of bending our backs, transforming cotton into cash, and receiving lashes and speaking back, nigga, know your place. Learn what race is. Understand your race should only come first in races you had no plan for me after slavery. Made me criminal just for breathing. Created gang. Deconstructed reconstruction era to give white folk broke like us something to lose. Choose between skin privilege or persecution. Keep game moving along. Rewrite rules. Force us to be the only ones to adhere to them. Make them eat Jim's crow until it becomes their best friend. Make us sit in back of bus. Call us outcasts. Cast out over 3,000 broken bit pieces of strange fruit throughout our, I'm sorry, your country. Come see who the big boys really are. Give boys guns and badges to badger us. Keep cops close to the young black boys and their own father. Make sure they get the message clear. That patrol lights on the raw night might mean the end of them. Feed fear into them. Infect them with viral killings on Facebook live feeds like IVs. Keep game moving along. Call society post-racial to race away from reality. Let schools waste away so kids in math classes can't understand how 53% of white women subtracted eight years of progress by thinking that 45 was our country's solution. Let him do worse than worse stereotypes of Obama. Turn White House into Jerry Springer. Let his baby mama call out new foreign chick in front of American audience like reality show. Let reality show that fake stereotypes about blacks don't match real life with this dude, but don't call him out because he looked like you. Ignore the war on drugs, but call heroin addicts opioid victims because they look like you. Play anthem. Francis Scott's songs in the key of white. Force so-called free men to stand for soundtracks of their own holocaust. Cost them sponsors if they talk. Cost them money if they talk. Cost them lies if they talk. Make sure them niggas know they place. Place journalists, what up Jamel Hill? Place journalists to higher standards than so-called commanders in chief. Demand them niggas speak only when you tell them to. Call my black women sassy or opinionated by taking positions other than missionary or doggy style. Meanwhile, keep ignoring the blood that falls from the leaves. Capping us is why Capping took a knee. Yet watch them steal our narrative like slaves stolen from overseas. Enjoy the irony of watching free men protest while being ridiculed by star-spangled wearing hypocrites who sit. Keep telling yourself game don't exist. Yet make your television the closest we ever come to your residence. Say you don't see color, therefore make ignoring black pain that more evident. Ignore the message unless the messenger looks like you. We were never meant to be friends in the first place, right? We're only here to entertain and sustain you. Maybe that's why when I had my dreadlocks, every white person I introduced to, hey, you remind me of Lil Wayne, dude. It's the same game. You ignore our pain like it's martial law. That's why you didn't pay attention until Marshall talked. That's how you skip over 400 years of history for a four minute freestyle because white privilege is just like Facebook. You can't hear me speaking if we ain't friends to begin with. And we ain't been friends for a long damn time because had we been friends, it wouldn't have taken this poem to make the obvious evident. Ever since we've been here, we were never meant to be here freely. Yet here we stand. You cannot ignore us. You will not derail our narrative. Understand it is not your job to police our pain. Understand your silence is white supremacy's accomplice. Understand you've got a lot of work to do. So my people did enough shit for free already.